Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Andrew, and if you're here, it's to learn more about cryptocurrencies. So I wanna do an Ecomi and VV video here because we've had some big announcements the last few weeks. Uh, it hasn't maybe felt like it because the price of Omi is going down or kind of hovering around that 0 .002 mark, but we've had some big things to look forward to. The one being that we know we're gonna transfer over from the Go chain to the Ethereum blockchain at Immutable X. We have mainstream advertising happening at San Diego Comic-Con. We know the VV verse is happening. Superman is coming this uh, week for our first appearance. And they've also mentioned that staking is gonna be available here this year, uh, possibly. They're looking into staking options for the OMI token. And after watching some channels about, you know, talking about this, it sounds like, uh, you know, some people don't know exactly what staking is. And uh, I wanna just clear that up so you at least know what staking is and how you can take advantage of it. So um, if you like this content, like, give a thumbs up on it. I'd appreciate it, subscribe. We're building a good community here as well. I'm sure I'll be hearing comments on this as well. And if, you're, if I'm missing something or you wanna add something, leave them in the comments down below. I read all of them. And also too, I love the uh, conspiracy theories of why I'm filming from my car here. So I love those as well, but let's jump into this. So essentially there's two different ways of doing this, uh, which is like validating a certain cryptocurrency network. So there's the proof of stake, which uh, Ecomi is talking about doing. But before that, there's also called proof of work. So what's the difference there? Well, proof of work is what Bitcoin and how Bitcoin started. And essentially it's, you know, if you've heard of Bitcoin mining, that's how Bitcoin is created. So Bitcoin essentially, at the early days that you were able to mine Bitcoin from your laptop or a desktop. And essentially all you are doing is using your computing power to validate any transactions. So if I have Bitcoin, I wanna send you Bitcoin and I send it through the network, then miners or validators will validate that transaction and it has to have a certain number of confirmation from a number of different miners to be able to, to validate that transaction, record it on a block, and then once that block is filled up of transactions, it's added to the blockchain, which is that public ledger that anyone can go access and see all the transactions on the Bitcoin network. For doing that work, they are rewarded in Bitcoin. So people are kind of moving away from proof of work right now, um, and most projects are looking for a different alternative like proof of stake because of these downsides to proof of work. Well, number one, the, the cost of entry to be able to, to mine uh, proof of work is high. The upfront cost is high. So if you've seen any Bitcoin documentaries, you're probably seeing now that people have warehouses full of these computers that are mining Bitcoin around the clock. And that's because it's become super competitive and there's a lot more transactions happening that you, know, you have to have warehouses full of these computers running day and night to even compete as a Bitcoin miner because you're competing with other miners for to you know essentially your computer to solve these really complicated math equations that then re, uh, record that transaction and once that block is filled up if you're the the winning computer that does that then you get paid in bitcoin so the more you know servers and the more computers you have the better chance you are at making more bitcoin so right now to start fresh and be like hey I'm going to mine bitcoin is nearly impossible unless you have millions and millions of dollars, a warehouse in, you know, in Antarctica where it's really cold and uh, you just won't be able to do it. Also too, it's getting a, a lot of flack right now because of the energy consumption, um, you know, with the global warming, I'm sure you've heard the issue from Elon Musk that, you know, uh, a lot of these is in other countries, a lot of these warehouses are powered by coal and that's how they get the electricity to be able to run these these big uh, warehouses full of computers. So it's getting some, you know, uh, some flack right now. And so proof of stake is really starting to make its push. And that's on networks like Ethereum, where once we move over to Ethereum, that's what I think they're waiting for is for us to move to Ethereum to be able to do a staking program over there. So what are the downsides though to, to staking? Well, first let's go through the difference. So this one, you have to buy the, the uh, equipment up front and you have to set up everything. And unless you have that equipment, then you're not gonna be able to mine this. With proof of stake, you know, I can, I'm staking with a number of different projects right now. 
And really all you have to do is buy a certain minimum of coins. You usually have to have a minimum that you have to, to buy or hold to stake. And then really you like for, and this, this is different from project to project, but in one of them that I'm uh, staking with, I essentially went on Uniswap and bought their token. And then once I had their token, I just went to their website and connected my MetaMask wallet right to their website. And then from there, they I've started staking. And with this project, my coins never left my MetaMask wallet. So they're in my MetaMask wallet still. It just is connected to their website and I'm they're using me to validate their cryptocurrency network. And then it'll show a rewards page that I will earn you know, their native token for doing that. And this project, it started out at 200% APY was their staking rewards, which was ridiculous. So I didn't have to buy any computer stuff up front. You know, I just had to have their coins, connect the, my digital wallet to their website, you know, just like you do to a, you know, Uniswap or PancakeSwap, one of those decentralized exchanges. You just connect it, leave it connected, and you're staking from there. So really, really simple. The downsides though, there's usually some lockup periods. So, you know, if I buy, ten thousand dollars worth of these coins is the minimum and then i'm staking well i had there was a 90 day lockup period so i could technically access my funds but i would lose a huge percent of my rewards for doing so so uh, some that they actually remove the coins from your wallet and then um, you're actually not able to access them at all for whatever that lockup period is so that really differs from project to project so make sure you check out the lockup period of whatever your staking program program you're going to be in and also too, this uh, rewards the most invested as well. So usually with uh, staking rewards programs, the more you have invested and the more you're staking in relation to everybody else, the more percentage of the rewards that you're gonna get. And that's kind of some people's issues with it is that you know if you have a million dollars staked versus someone like me who was, let's say $10,000 staked, that they're gonna get way more percentage of the rewards because they have more money. So it rewards the most invested there, which some people say are not that fair. But at the end of the day, either one, you're essentially making more money for, for hodling and using your, your coins, especially with the staking, for using it to help validate the those uh, cryptocurrency networks of whatever you're uh, staking for. So it's a great way to earn passive income and. You know, just just keep in mind as well, for instance, the one project that was at 200% APY, well, the next month they went down to about 100% APY, and now this month they're going down to 40% APY. So they may change that as you are staked, um, so keep that in mind as well, but at the end of the day, and within the traditional banking system, to get 40% APY, like that is ridiculously high, let alone a couple hundred percent APY. So. If it's the right project, you believe in the project, you believe in the team, and you know these these sometimes these rewards sound too good to be true when they're actually not. That you're actually earning that kind of uh, rewards for it. So it's really crazy. So, anyways, hope that cleared that up for you. Um, hope you learned something. If you did, leave it in the comments down below. Also, too, if they do re release a staking program, I'm happy to go through a detailed analysis of what that would mean for you as an OMI token holder. Um, and I would love to hear from you if you're staked in other programs as well, any good other staking programs that you're a part of, I always wanna learn as well. And uh, yeah, if you like this content, like and subscribe, and I'll definitely see you on the next one.